Bada, yeah. you love the video, then why don't you also? Welcome to the Internet Censor Show. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. sorry. <laughs> what a great cold open. Nice one. Welcome, welcome to the Internet Censor, a show where we take trivia, facts, uh, fan mail, uh, bounceish, and checkish. <laughs> uh thank you you know i feel like i feel like ronak didn't get the words but he got the vibe right the vibe bro oh, come on bro yeah yeah hello um <laughs> <Bro. laughs> it's the fan mail it is the <laughs> fan mail in hai bechara hamare fans ko bhi malum hai ki un log jitna bhi mail karte hain topic pe hum log kuch nahi liye abhi tak so but but uh, the... have to tell the fans thank you oh yes Bar- Yes, yes. Oh, Dhaka Dala. Consecutive year. Thank you. We have put Dhaka. Thank you. Ah, we have put Dhaka Dala in this award show. Ah, uh, so thank you all you guys for voting for uh, this under uh, best comedy podcast. But Amazing. we can't toot our own horn because we have a fellow Dakoit. <laughs> That's right. I got Dakian. a Dakar too. I got a Dakar for. Is my ultra too high, bro? <laughs> अरे तेरे लिए उल्टा है हम लोग के लिए सीधा है इट्स कॉल्ड मिरर रोनक प्लीज डोंट शो ओनली नॉट मिसिंग अदर द बेस्ट फॉर्म आई थॉट दे गिव इट ब्रो हम लोग आदर को ही लेके आए गए पॉडकास्ट पे हम लोग अगर आदर ले गए बेस्ट ऑडियो बेस्ट बेस्ट फॉर्मेट शो कम ऑन ब्रो यो दिस इज सक्सेस ब्रो अनु मेरे को एक चीज जानने का हम लोग चार लोग हैं हम लोग को एक अवार्ड क्यों दिया वो भी कौतुक को अबे ये अपन एवरी क्वार्टर ऐसा चेंज ऑफ गार्ड होने वाला है <laughs> और अपने को इनके अवार्ड शो पे नाचने का है तो बाबा को जाने वाला नाचने के लिए अवार्ड ऐसे थोड़ी मिलते हैं नाचना पड़ता है I, I dive and I parasail, but yeah. You you really uh, you really were were taught jiving with the one two three. <laughs> no bro, Parsi kids are taught all this. Like you must have been taught, na? Chala bro, tell us little about jiving. Which is why, if you want to hear the full story or see Baba Jive, become a member on the channel. Membership link is below. Uh, <laughs> merch is also below. and mailing list is also below and tickets to our show is also below so please whenever you get the time uh, go and buy and and join us but abhi apan chalu karte hai very special relation test episode so, <laughs> relation test <laughs> iske pehle le lete hain properly intro Hello and welcome to another episode of the Internet Set. So, a show where we take random stories and we discuss facts and develop personal stories and we talk about it. And today we have with us Ronak Rajani. Ronak, bro, welcome. Yes. Bro, to fan mail, bolna bhul gaya. Fan mail. Abhi dalna padega. So, Ronak, apn thoda isme alag cheese karenge. Isme logo ke problems nahi hoge. But on the podcast, if you've seen, we do a lot of random, interesting, weird, absurd facts. So, abhi relationship facts hai. To uske andar we've gotten some facts. So. Let's just uh, go through with it. Let me ask you guys. Let's do it. Can you tell me uh, what was the oldest love letter? Hmm. That Some is. Wait, in- let me tell you. I only wrote it. Are <laughs> 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 Baba doing self aware? Kya baat hai? Uh, no. Um, I want to say. Which was this? Which was this Mesopotamian girlfriend that you wrote this love letter on a cuneiform tablet? Oh no! You are not understanding. It was. Uh, It was, uh, uh, yeah, it's historically incorrect, but for the sake of the joke, we'll go. It was uh, rival civilizations. It was Harappa and Mohenjo-daro falling in love. You're not understanding. Oh, what oh. a what a story! Yeah, isn't that, isn't that literally? <laughs> you never you ruined <laughs> you ruined the joke by giving that as like it's actually incorrect. I didn't know, but I, then later in the comments, the world, the world, different zones. I don't want oh, to deal with okay, that. Okay, got it, got it, got it, got it. That's why you make these polarizing comments. So people comment yeah. and make. For engagement, Baba. This is the yeah. hack. Yeah. Sorry. That's uh, and the if hack. somebody calls you stupid, you just delete the comment, bro. You <laughs> not forgot that or what? Yeah. Power lies with us. Yeah. Oh anyway, God. Hide user. Hide user. Hide user from channel. Yes. Correct. 
But to tell you, one of... when you do when you do hide user, does a person get like blocked from your channel or they hide, no. hidden from commenting? No, no, no. I also I don't know. Akele is seeing, and no one is seeing. So if you are a if you are a hidden user, can you let us know on Instagram? <laughs> also, can I just say that in our case, we only get hidden from the channel. Okay. If you if you are a hidden user on Tis, comment on relationship and let us know you are a Tis hidden user. If you are yeah. a hidden user on relationship, comment on Tis. Yeah. Know your... By by yeah. you know one of the one one thing that always comes out, <laughs> no matter which content creator it is, at some point this person will go on and say, "Hey guys, I think I'm shadow banned. Can you please just write a <laughs> comment to let me know?" And then people just go like, "No, no, bro, it's your content. It's your content." <laughs> Yo, but I got Delhi something. I got Delhi something. I was actually shadow banned, and then people oh, told me, "No, bro, it's your content," and it really hurt my feelings. <laughs> <laughs> because, 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 like right after comics talk, uh, because people started like opening my profile and seeing, I must have made some like incorrect joke way back. So people went all the way down, found that joke, and then reported it. And I remember. Seeing oh. that, okay, like when every time I open my phone, five hundred people followed you, four hundred people followed you, and then there was one notification: somebody has reported a post, and after that you couldn't search for my name, and after that no one was following me for like a whole week. So then when I would tell people, hey, I hmm. need people to follow me right now, can can you help? They would be like, no, bro, you your content sucks. <laughs> and it was one post. <laughs> yeah, some old post. I, until today, I don't know what the post was uh, that got. This thing, but I remember getting the notification saying somebody reported it, and uh, Instagram is going to take cognizance of it. Mm. Good. So sorry, coming back to love letter. Um, who wrote it? Thakur. Who wrote it? No, it's called one of the oldest references to a love letter dates to Indian mythology of more than five thousand years ago. Okay, it's mentioned in the Bhagavad Purana, book ten, hmm. chapter fifty two. And is addressed by Queen Rukmini to King Krishna and carried to him by her messenger Sunanda. This was the oldest reference. Like, Re- reference. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. But then, other than that, like this is in mythology. But if you go to uh, Istanbul, there is a cuneiform tablet, which is written in Sumerian times. Me, it's written. Usme bhi kisi ne likha hua hai. I love us- you. जूते तेरा एक फिंगर नहीं तू बराबर पकड़ भी नहीं पा रहा है तो तेरा लेटर अलग हो रहा है तो लिखने को हो रहा कुछ और है बट ऑल्सो आई फील लाइक I feel like love letters will be that form of letter writing that will never go extinct. Like I think across time in the past and the future, this is a thing that will continue. I feel like there is something about it, like the fact that you have to express yourself on a piece of paper. You don't do it for most things, but this it just feels think, like something. Bro, one of them has. No, I was just I was getting to that only. Like I I feel that at least for me when it comes to like writing a love letter per se, that's something that's happened more with Nikita and me. Because I think until that point, actually, in childhood, me to do see that. Jo Hallmark ne bola, yele card chipka diya. Happy Valentine's Day. Sign. Ha, sign. Niche, niche, sirf naam likha hai. Aur udhar jo Hallmark ne retire kya bola. You are the best father. Love you, baby. Happy Valentine's Day. <laughs> Happy Teachers Day. Hey, eh? kono sir. <laughs> but i i felt that you know like ever since nikita and i started, started reading she used to always do this like if it was a birthday or something it would always be like a like a handwritten note because i feel it has that extra uh, sort of element of putting in that effort which although even when you're typing is still typing you're putting efforts in your in your thumb but that that you know that sort of more personal but feeling sabka font it, sabka font ek hai na तेरे फोन पे सबका फोन देखा हाँ यू नो वट आई मीन लाइक दिस इज 
it's a part of her. But do you think it. that do you think that texting has diluted it in the sense that like you're you're already all all half the time writing to each other. Like sending a meme is a love letter now, right? Mm. Yeah, yeah, proper. That's love language. Because it's like this, this you. Yeah. It's it's just some girl eating <laughs> peanut butter, and you're like you also eat. <laughs> so, uh-huh. No, I, so, I don't know if it's a comment on the something that he or she does, or if it's a comment on just this is what you should do. <laughs> Bro, oh yeah, way, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's there's some of that too. Hundred and ten percent agree with what Ronak was saying about the memes, and like it's a form of bonding, humor, love, and the fact that you're paying attention to your partner because you're recognizing. a trait of this a trait so, correct for example yeah. in the pandemic oh man I, this is mine and siddhi's favorite meme okay <clears throat> so everyone was working from home so there was this meme someone had done okay where um, it was like a reel where this dog is sleeping okay and uh-huh. it says 959 okay dog is sleeping and then uh-huh. 10 okay as soon as it becomes 10 dog is sitting at a desk and listening to one zoom call okay Uh-huh. Uh-huh. that was the real okay uh-huh. so in one minute he has gone from this to this and yes. i've shared it with siddhi because that was her entire life okay yeah. during the pandemic uh-huh. everyone's working from home 9:59 in bed 10 o'clock at work and we have laughed so much so much like sometimes right now we'll just now we forgotten meme meme everything we literally look at each other and going like dog at 10 mm. <laughs> bro Would you guys ever send a meme that only you find funny, and then your partner's like, "How this is not funny, dude." <laughs> That's bro, nothing. Bro, nothing crushes heart more. Bro, bro, let me tell you one thing. Okay, so there is a yeah. there is a Sardar uncle in mm-hmm. this photo, and he is making pav bhaji, and he is writing pav bhaji ka kya pav bhaji. Okay. <laughs> I think that's the funniest shit I've seen, and I sent it to Hena, and Hena was like, "What's funny about this?" No, like, this is on? this is equivalent to SD Devagoda and HD Devagoda, bro. No, no, Baba, this is this is equivalent to K K T Perry, Perry, K T yeah. Perry, Perry Petty. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, no, but yeah. HD Devagoda, HD Devagoda is damn funny because <laughs> it literally was in the old school days. It was R V C J days. Where it I, was, I don't know. I don't know. I haven't seen the HD Devagoda. What is it? Called? So it's a pixelated picture of HD of Devagoda, and it says HD Devagoda. And there's a clear <laughs> picture of Devagoda, and it says HD Devagoda. I don't know. This one is classic. One classic. One picture is, okay. Ah, in which Nelson Mandela is like a little sad. He's written as Nelson Mandela. और नीचे उसका फोटो डाल दिया कोई बच्चों पे जो नाच रहे और नेल्सन फ्राइडेला अरे ब्रो देर इज वन अ पिक्चर ऑफ कहानी ओके लाइक दिस एंड इट इज कहानी वेस्ट इज अ पिक्चर वेर इट लाइक दिस इट इज कहानी इट bro yeah, it yeah. some of them yeah, some of like, them are just coming, too good coming back to like you know sharing memes with a partner i think you are absolutely right in today's day and age like sending memes to each other is your is your love language and how kautu pot, uh, pointed out where there are very peculiar traits that you have with your partner that you see reflected in any other meme like nikita and i nine out of the 10 memes we sent is of monkeys being with each other and literally when you see them there's certain things they do that we've also done and it's not sex it's just how the monkeys are with each other and suddenly uh, you're like ek minute uh, this is exactly like us like there's one meme where the uh, 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 like me uh, male monkey comes home and the female monkey just goes and runs and hugs him and gives him this kiss where she always does and show up she'll come running like that so she sent me uh, that it automatically you're reminded of that moment and now it becomes so special That हम लोग एक हम लोग का ऐसे डीएम देखेगा ना सिर्फ बंदर के मीम्स पे चले दूसरे को bro someone will confuse it with other हाँ huh? someone might confuse it with other and you yeah <laughs> dude ठाकुर uh, recently सिद्धि और I we had one monkey meme thing but the meme was not romantic at all it was uh. basically a camera है in a gorilla enclosure ठीक <laughs> है <laughs> और बारिश पड़ रहा है Okay, and there are these two gorillas. One gorilla is just like upset. Okay, sitting like this. The other gorilla comes behind it, and just to annoy it, it goes hey, hey. Uh-huh. This gorilla has literally gone. 
right? Yeah. <laughs> the guy keeps annoying him, keeps annoying him. Finally, the gorilla turns around and runs at him, right? And she's like, "This is what you do to me every day." And I'm like, "Fuck off, <laughs> <laughs> fuck off." Bro, on that was the was the song that they played on that real gorilla Ishq Mita. Very nice. Yeah. Keep trying, Baba. Try and try and you will succeed one day. That's what <laughs> I'm saying. Yeah. No, but you know, I was t- telling you guys about love letters, right? So, uh, because as you see, Nikita always wrote handwritten letters. I'm like, chal, iske birthday pe, anniversary pe, whatever. <laughs> pe, main bhi Except I can't write anymore. I feel. Hai, you don't, s- don't read also, na? <laughs> huh? You don't read no, also. So. He means physically. Oh. Like, I gave me a pen. I said, nah, I, said I feel it. It's too difficult, ho gaya, bro. So the only time I can write a fast properly is if I'm writing in caps. So one of the first two letters and no job. Because you're used to filling out bank forms. No, no, you have to write a name in visa form, address. Yeah, yeah. I have to caps and write a note. But I've seen that regardless in the last eight years, what gifts or whatever I may have given her, there are a little bit, a little bit. The written letters or the notes are now still in the same way. Hmm. So it it has that, and this is the thing I've realized now. I used to never write handwritten letters. So, कभी लिखा ही नहीं है लाइफ में. मुँह पे बोलता हूँ कि hey, I, this is what I feel. या हॉल मार क्या कुछ. कभी भी लिखा ही नहीं. हाँ. Frank. Frank. Bro, I just straight up. मैं मुँह पे बोल देता हूँ. I feel straight shooter. <laughs> have you? Have, uh-huh. did, did you guys ever write back in the day? Yes. कैसे letter? तू लिखा बाबा? तू बता. बहुत सारा लिखे. हम लोग का तो हम लोग का तो एक लड़की को लिखा है कि बहुत सारे लड़कियों को लिखा है तूने प्लीज क्लियर आई वुड से बहुत सारा एक लड़की को लिखा है फिर उसके बाद थोड़े थोड़े अलग अलग लड़कियों को लिखा है कभी क्या पुराने वाले कि अभी यार ये नए वाले को तो नहीं पता ना तो पुराने वाला थोड़ा मैंने एक पोएम मैंने एक पोएम रिसाइकिल किया था जो एक ओरिजिनल पोएम था उसको मैंने रिसाइकिल किया था बचपन पोएम ओ गॉड अबे तू ये राइमिंग वाले खेल रहा था क्या हाँ हाँ तो चूतिया मैं बोल तो रहा हूँ रिसाइकलेबल पोएट्री तो क्या होगा मैं एक्चुअल थोड़ी डेप्थ वाला पोएट्री लिख रहा हूँ इंस्पायर्ड मी टू ट्राई आई वांटेड टू अप्लाई इट्स मॉनसून माय क्लोथ्स आर नॉट ड्राई सॉरी माय यूज ड्राई नहीं नहीं ऐसा सब नहीं बट ऑलमोस्ट लाइक नो नो Uh, My favorite actress is Ashwini uh, Rai. Yeh sab likhe tune usko. So it's like a, it's like a, you're so beautiful that you forced me to write this. I I have no other option to. <laughs> yeah, sort of. But anyway, so no, I I I I. The thing is, being in boarding school, the only way we could tell the girls that we uh, liked something was sometimes on Sunday during church. We had like the the church was the only place where we used to sort of. come together congregate on sunday right uh, otherwise wo aisa fet pe ya aisa market visit pe hi milne ko hota tha to uh, ek to post se letter bhej sakta tha hum log jo scan hota tha to hum log call out nahi hota tha lekin hum log parchi likh ke aisa school ka, uh, church ka pew pe chhodta tha and then they would sort of pick up the right one for the right person hmm. to wo time pe thoda bahut likha hai bahut sara likha tha ve to confession box mein likhne ka na confession box mein dal dene ka confession box mein to dalega <laughs> this is not big boss dude that's not how, that's not uh but but, but yeah no no you were saying you were saying something you've written a note or you've recycled something no no i was saying this only i've done and this i did maybe i think i was like 13 or 14 and uh, i wrote to matlab msn messenger pe gana bhej diya ek ladki ke liye matlab aisa hai matlab likh ke bhej diya fuck and, it's so uh, baffling to me how when you were 13 there was msn messenger bro it's just yeah, how, How old were you when you were sixty, man? That I am. Ah, bro, that I don't even. Oh God, MSN Messenger, yeah. well into my two hundreds. Uh, <laughs> yeah. ASL, ASL, how many times you said that? ASL, ASL, yeah. So, but uh, ASL, so uh, MSN Messenger, you have to do a little bit. ASL, so you do. A ASL, either be. One time, the early two thousand, either be. So, talk about ASL. So, he is saying, he is saying MSN Messenger <laughs> because you already knew the email address of the person. Yeah, no. Okay, <laughs> you used oh, to just put. Okay, like a like a pen pal. Blank and hide, cut and hide. I even. Hey, I am. Everyone this. in the greater Andheri area, <laughs> just collect. आ जाओ नया आया चीज मार्केट में मिलते हैं रात को चुपके से <laughs> कितने लॉन्डो से बात किया सोच के लड़के है पता नहीं बट बहुत किया बट या 
so no i mean also love letters have also been my uh, what's it called my my i've also found out breakups through love letters yeah? love letters what? What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. People have broken up love found, letters. Found out breakup. That's a letter. letter. That's just a letter, bro. That's not a love yeah. letter. No, no. <laughs> that's just news. No, but Ronak, when you receive it, it's a love letter. Oh, God. When, you, when you open yeah, yeah. it, it's not. When you open correct, it, correct. it's not right. So it's a surprise. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Correct. So, it's, uh, it's Schrodinger's letter. It's Schrodinger's letter. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it is a. But, yeah. but that is every letter. Every love letter is Schrodinger's yeah. letter because. Correct. Uh, but yeah, so yeah, they've also. So, but, but 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 never to be fair. To be fair, like a like a love letter would have like a little more like the there's a perfume on it and there's like hearts drawn on it. But this is just like a brown envelope. This is skull and crossbones. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is written in black pen as opposed to the pink pen that it was written in earlier. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Bro, you know, you can't, you can't break up a pink pen. That's true. Yeah, you can't break up in pink pen. Yeah, the, yeah. The other thing is when, um, uh, when like people, I like I, I used to do this, right? I would write. Is my internet bad or is your internet? No, can Sorry, you hear me? Continue. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's fine. Okay. okay, so basically, uh, people in my class, right? We would like they would write a letter, and then no one had the guts to give the letter themselves, right? So then you would get the letter from someone, and then go on behalf of that person to the girl and give it to her, right? And for some reason, like. It was like a thing that you made your best friend, your postman. Ki ab tu ja, or tu yeah. de. And then he has to just be like, it's from him. <laughs> I never asked you that. Why didn't you have the balls to go give it yourself? Why would like people do Are this? Nahi hota hai logo ke paas guts. No, nahi, but bro, but then it's like if she rejects it, then say that I don't make it. This fucker just wrote it himself. <laughs> also true. No. Nah. Yeah, it was a that's prank. How you do it. it was a joke. It's like yeah. uh, it's like uh, now when 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 somebody responds to you in the morning and you're like, oh, I somebody my friends took my phone and texted you. I never, I don't love yeah, you. Yeah, my Instagram was hacked. I'm sorry. But you know, we were was... talking rehashing rehashing love letters, right? I made a very bad scam. Okay, I was 16 years old. And uh, full house, I remember full house. Hmm. Oh, house full. Okay, full house. I remember Uncle Jesse. Hmm. Uncle Jesse. takes a original beach boy song that he makes into a slow version theek hai that he sings for aunt becky and that hits the top of the charts in his singing career on the show hmm okay if everyone yeah. i said could make you smile let's sing forever aise wo gaana yaad hai to main bola fuck ye baap ek ladki wo time pe person thi still trying to flirt or whatever usko maine bol diya maine likh diya tere liye poem hmm oh, like all sort of song So she ah. go, that's, in, that's really sweet और मैंने सुना दिया है क्योंकि ये लड़की फुल हाउस नहीं देखती थी ठीक है right. कुछ हुआ नहीं गोइंग आउट नथिंग ब्रो वो होने के ढाई साल बाद आउट ऑफ द ब्लू सेंग वी I I've seen that I when I heard that song I'm like wait I've heard this somewhere you stole a song from a fucking TV show and you sang it to me. Bus fin. So what can I say? Sorry. <laughs> bro, but but uh, just I'm going off topic. But uh, Aunt Becky was too hot, bro. Too hot, bro. <laughs> Then like like uh, Full House was a big part of personality also, like Friends. Full House be mm-hmm. Uncle Jesse Joe Kiesh. Maybe we'll do it. Yeah. ओके जैसे जॉन स्टेमोस है और मैं मैं हूं अच्छा वेट नाउ मूविंग फ्रॉम लव लेटर ओके आई वांट टू ब्रिंग अप दिस थिंग ओके दिस अमेजिंग बंच ऑफ थिंग्स दैट आई फाउंड व्हिच इज बेसिकली नाइन ऑफ द मोस्ट हिलेरियस इंडियन मैट्रिमोनियल एड्स ऑफ ऑल टाइम हम्म ओके दीस आर एड्स दैट पीपल हैव पुट इन द न्यूज़पेपर्स आस्किंग फॉर लुकिंग फॉर प्रोस्पेक्टिव ब्राइड्स ग्रूम्स ओके um यू गॉट टू हियर some of these that's your bro all right so there is uh, one person who has asked wanted good looking educated homely girl aged above 32 years from respectable business family for good looking north indian agarwal boy graduate issueless and innocent divorcee so oh issue, issueless <laughs> means bacche ke bina or like he doesn't have an alcoholic <laughs> 
इसके लिए उसका डिवोर्स का कोई इश्यू नहीं है अभी वो हो गया है बट आई रियली लाइक द टर्म इनोसेंट डिवोर्सी यू नो एज अपोज टू दिल्टी वन गो राइटिंग इन दर मैट्रीमोनियल <laughs> looking for nice girl for a guilty divorcee sorry uh, but <laughs> definite red flag and you're, you're right you're right this is this is the absolute guiltiest divorcee who was written <laughs> yes. yeah this is this is this is the wolf in red riding hood that's what he is can i can i, <laughs> can I give you an example of who this person must be oh. as opposed to so uh, you <laughs> no so i'll just this this happened okay this has happened and this is uh the fastest divorce that has ever happened in history uh, i mean well more or less recorded in history and it is by a kuwaiti couple okay a couple from kuwait got divorced in 3 minutes after they got married 3 minutes 3 minutes in 3 minutes, minutes. Why, why? this is the most classic intersection set of why someone does this okay so what's happened is they have um uh the 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 wedding ceremony is sort of over right and um, they've done whatever it is that they need to happen and at the bride and the groom are walking as they are walking the bride trips and falls on the cold hard floor mm. right okay. now at this point any groom would have sort of rushed and said are you okay baby this that and the other also because it would have been slightly embarrassing for her and all of that guy right, right? Right, right, right. this guy looks oh. at her and says stupid stupid Ooh. wow wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. wow yeah uh, i think innocent I... bhi hai aur guilty bhi hai i feel <laughs> <laughs> he is issueless <laughs> He's yeah. also brainless or heartless, but uh, but yeah. Look, and this girl, this girl is writing on this thing saying, looking for a boy for a stupid divorcee, and uh, <laughs> bro, but uh, so so she got up and then then she said, how how can you call me stupid? Enough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Enough. This I, is also, by the way, there was one. I think a princess from Dubai. Abhi uh, hua, bro. Two weeks before. Yeah, 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 yeah. On Instagram. So, uh, so so ronak so basically this princess from dubai has broken up or well, not broken up divorced her husband uh-huh. on instagram because she has written uh-huh. talaq 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 or divorce 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 right, right, right. on the comments right yeah i divorce you i divorce you i divorce you no as a post as a post no and she said you know uh, uh, xyz i know you might not be reading this because you might, must be away with one of your other falana dimgana so right. as i stand here uh, uh, Divorcing you, I divorce you. I do. Pura proper ek post hai, bro. Nice, nice. And, you know the the question it raises is this: that if he had put it in the story, then was it void after twenty four hours? Yeah, that's a very that's a fair question, bro. <laughs> that's, why, that's why I believe in love letters. <laughs> <laughs> Now I'm I'm waiting for her to write. Hi guys, sorry, a hacker had hacked yeah. my account. <laughs> So <laughs> I I'm back I'm back guys sorry <laughs> but even uh, you guys you guys know that uh, in Big Boss uh, there was a guy who had two wives and him and both his wives uh, were on the, on the show yeah bro yeah. even both his wives are on the show and uh, I then the first wife got eliminated so him and the second <laughs> wife <was there. laughs> okay can you guys guess what the world record um uh, Uh, guess what the world record for uh, for the longest marriage is world record for the longest, for the longest marriage yeah like actually or psychologically like it felt oh. like a really no <laughs> did both of <laughs> <laughs> he says it in court at the divorce proceedings and the yeah. tv shows up at the world <laughs> so so it, it goes to herbert This and has been the longest marriage ever, babe. We've been married four weeks. What the fuck are you saying, really? 
bro there I, are so many of these celebrity marriages that have lasted like this like the jane acker was married to uh, somebody who uh, i forgot the first person's uh, the husband's name but jane acker was married to this person and right after the marriage uh, when they had to consummate the marriage and they went to the honeymoon suite she locked him outside and he kept knocking for 20 minutes she was just not comfortable so he kept knocking for 20 minutes and then he bounced and obviously <laughs> so like there have been marriages that have lasted like that but this the longest marriage goes to herbert and zelmyra fisher okay. who were married for an astonishing 86 years 9 months and 16 days as of february 14 2024 you know what we funny you know what we funny is that a feb 14 It was like that someone died. They had a divorce. It'd be really funny if that's what that's how it ended. They're both Arrayed. alive. But that there is there is. I'll give you this: the oldest couple to ever divorce, the oldest couple huh. to ever get divorced, are ninety-eight-year-old um, Bertie and Jessie Wood filed for divorce after thirty-six years of marriage, with <laughs> just two years away from their hundredth birthdays. The <laughs> Woods God. received their decree. Uh, absolute and went their separate separate days separate ways sorry separate days <laughs> every day uh, separate <laughs> yeah. days is good dude. <laughs> because at this point that's how many days there are left there was one thing i read recently it reminded me from what you just said the you know the old couple divorcing there's one thing i read uh, it's so weird bizarre but uh, telling so this thing was this guy had written on reddit or somewhere ki my parents after some you know 20 plus years of very happy marriage they have decided to get divorced and he said ki the reason is america and so basically uh-huh. what had happened was that one of the parents had gotten an illness okay and um they had to take debt and so the thing was if they remained married and if the person passed away then the debt would get transferred to the mm-hmm. to the, the remaining spouse so they literally had to divorce for financial reasons you're you're talking about this but i'll give you a better reason i have a, I have a punjabi friend who i have a punjabi friend who married a white girl and the reason was america <laughs> <laughs> this is this is not divorce but apparently a wedding being called off and the reason for this is and i quote apparently my brother's wife's sister called off her wedding because the new kids on the block were doing a reunion tour and she decided she'd rather go to the concert than the marriage nice <laughs> yeah but it's uh i think i i think what or how it must have played out was that she must have said hey i love this band can we go for the wedding for this instead of and postpone mm-hmm, our wedding mm-hmm. and now and then he was been like i don't care for your favorite band so then she was been like hat pe ja rahi hu now that's how it was played out yeah also um coming back to this matrimonial thing right uh there is there is this one okay age 32 mba 10 lakhs per annum 178 cm own house plus business seeks a bubbly tamil girl in brackets is written non facebook user <laughs> so specific bro now the question is firstly why <laughs> yeah frankly if i was a non facebook user i would marry him then i would immediately start my facebook account to see what i'm missing bro bro can you i tell you where i think this is coming from because i saw another statistic that said like uh nowadays because of your increased uh proliferation of social media across the board right the amount of options people have mm. just to be you know like unfaithful so to speak yeah in the large, broader sense that tempted in the zamane mein waise bhi kya yahi 15 log hai isko hi milega tabhi kuch facebook nahi tha koi instagram nahi tha a lot of the gen z people are staying away primarily because of this reason because they feel that with the advent of social media and how how far and wide it has spread where you know what i mean they just assume that oh it's now so yeah. much easier to get in touch with x person y person um, and you know to have those clandestine off the book relationships yeah. so wo ek thoda trust factor logo mein kam ho gaya nowadays because because of that to ye ye matrimonial wale mein to bilkul nahi hai bhai trust kyunki usne khud ne kiye honge koi side mein usne bola bhai aisa hota hai facebook pe to bivi ko not allowed 
और ही वॉज लाइक मैं कर रहा हूँ फेसबुक पे एंड बीबी आके केक so there's That's a right. man who divorced the same wife four times lovely <laughs> why four paid leaves <laughs> what <laughs> <laughs> paid leaves so a bank clerk from taiwan married the same woman four times and divorced her thrice in a span of 37 days so he could get his paid leaves extended because according to article 2 of the labor leave rules employ- employees are entitled to 8 days of paid leave when they get married in the country uh and then oh, the oh. bank approved an 8 day leave for the first marriage and he got married on 6th april 22 22 however once his marriage leave was over he divorced his wife and married her again the next day to ask for nice. another paid leave and he repeats nice. this nice. four nice. times nice. by doing this iske iske a company ke hr pe jaat iska ek request aata hai request for leave for marriage un log khud nahi dekh rahe kya ye chuti hai pichle grade mahine mein sala char baar shaadi karke baitha hai ek bhi baar bulaya nahi but wait a second it gets better because he managed to extend his leave by 32 days Right. Uh-huh. Then when he went back after this, and the bank found out that he is scam, doing it every day, divorce, doing it, marrying, doing it. Monday, go Monday, go marrying, doing it. Sunday, go divorce, doing it. Monday, go marrying, doing it. So when this happened, they told him the bank told him, "Fuck you, we are not giving you money again." So he went to the whatever the labor bureau of Taipei City, right? and accused the bank of breaking the law and the labor bureau said that the employer violated the labor law and the bank was fined money oh, oh shit chal chalo taiwan chalo fir guys one second taiwan mein mere ek ek boss aata hai bhai aaj log kaam pe nahi hai sir kya na sab log ka aaj shaadi hai acha theek hai theek hai 8 din ke baad aayenge theek hai theek hai nove din mein baap boss wapas aata hai bhai kya chal raha hai aaj bhi koi nahi hai sir kya humka divorce ho gaya abhi wapas shaadi kar liye bahut akela beta hai bhai department ka divorce hua sir are aaj acha department din hai sir accounts aaye nahi hai aaj divorce oh boy bro har monday ko wo log laddu laate hai sir shaadi ka laddu बॉस बॉस अकेले जा रहा है काम पे भाई छत्तीस दिन से अकेले आ रहा हूँ काम पे कोई आएगा कि नहीं सर कोई नहीं काम कर मेरी भी शादी हो रही है सर आप तो शादी से जा रहे उसको डेवो चल पूरा बोर्ड ऑफ डायरेक्टर्स बैठे साल में हमारे कंपनी का ग्रोथ नेगेटिव फाइव सिक्सटी फोर परसेंट रहा है मतलब कोई बताएगा कुछ नहीं सर बाकी बोर्ड ऑफ डायरेक्टर्स नहीं आए क्यों नहीं उनकी भी शादी हो रही है जला दो इमेजिन The the wife also who is partaking in this, right? Like you can't ye taali ek se nahi hai, right? So yeah. you have to ask her also. Yeah. Ki tu kya ke liye. Yeah. it's like, it's like like routine now. It's like refueling your car at this point. It's like, hey, we gotta go get divorced now. It's Sunday. No, but what I don't get is that how easily are they just ending up divorces in Taiwan? Kya yeah. ja, divorce. देखो करना पड़ता है ना कुछ पूरा प्रोसेस होता है कि तू छह महीना ये वो इधर इधर का रजिस्टर शादी 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 क्या चल रहा है भाई तो ये नेल्सन मंडे ला ऐसा है फिर फ्राइडे ला ऐसा है ब्रो इसमें एक एक रीजन था कि वाइफ हैज एक्चुअली पुट इट इन द कोर्ट ऑफ लॉ so after a week they filed for divorce this is no longer an annulment okay so they've had to file for divorce and the reason cited for it after a week was i wasn't feeling it <laughs> nice eight bar ki char bar usne dala i wasn't feeling it feeling it feeling it this is that's good. a great reason no yeah. oh, vibe nahi tha vibe <laughs> try kiya lekin maza nahi aa raha hai yeah <laughs> But it can, that's the most honest response. ऐसा नहीं है कि मैं manufacture करूँगा जो है बोलता हूँ. No, you know, you know what this is? This is when you return something on Mintra, right? <laughs> <laughs> so it's a totally other. 
अदर अदर साइज फेट कॉस्ट अदर अदर I want to ask you the fourth time did they get married again or was was yeah, it yeah he married a four okay. time he married married four time married four okay time. and there was no fifth divorce right there was no like <laughs> no no because the bank said no on the fourth time na i'm not paying you anymore okay, okay, second okay, right. this is an innocent divorce dude <laughs> <laughs> only divorce for the paid leaves hey i am i'm also on board for this <laughs> how so oh. okay. oh bro okay. so uh This is a thing from Belarus. Okay, now in Belarus, the couple gets married. Couple goes into bedroom, and couple doesn't go into bedroom alone. Hmm? Couple goes into bedroom with groom's best friend. Nice. <laughs> okay, nice. and the best friend is uh, waits in the uh, bedroom until they're under the covers. Then the best friend takes out a whip. <laughs> okay, that's nice. This is an actual whip. An actual whip. Okay. And he starts whipping the groom, saying, "Look at each other, kiss, embrace, fast." Bro. And oh. then, and then he stays. <laughs> I'm genuinely asking you, bro. Does he? No, I mean, like at some point he leaves, and this is like a. I mean, it's not like <laughs> he actually point. wants. Not immediately <laughs> after whipping this bread, who's getting battered? I mean, they could say, "I'm like, how can I do? My hand is killing me. You know, that's all. That's. Baby, baby, yeah, no, bro, this is custom. I have to do it. Okay, kill, kill him. But that's you know, true, the bro. thing is, when you when you hear these things, right? They seem so strange and like you know, yeah. bizarre things, but. Like when you look at our own customs, right? So many of them are also so strange, but we don't feel that because we've grown up with it. No, no, frankly, I'll, frankly, I'll, frankly, I'll tell you. Yeah, yeah. I'll tell you. Frankly, your I mean. dowry isn't as bad as whipping your best friend. Okay. <laughs> no, no, no. It is. For example, uh, Aishwarya Rai had to marry a tree. Right. Right. Like because she was considered. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Aishwarya, Aishwarya Rai had to marry a tree for paid leaves. <laughs> <laughs> nice. So uh, that's my point. Okay, the fact that like we have these customs, right? Like if you looked at it from an outsider's perspective, it would be so bizarre to even explain it, right? That this is a concept, it's a paid, and it's what? I'll tell you what. If the ritual, I'll tell you what. Frankly, the ritual is not odd if you're hitting your best friend at the reception. Hmm. The bedroom part is weird. <laughs> hello, hello, hello. Ah, your no problem that he is whipping his best friend. He <laughs> while he is in wife with his while he is in bed with his wife. Yeah, yeah. Bedroom. Yeah, yeah. I mean, if you are doing reception, then it's just okay. Banter, banter. It's like birthday bumps. Birthday bumps. Yeah. Tapli, tapli is the exact yeah. thing you are looking for. You whip him. Yeah. I mean, it means that he is BDSM. Suddenly, what are you doing? Yeah. 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 Yeah.
सो ट्वेंटी सेवन एक दिन पहले थ्री डेज बिफोर द एक्चुअल वेडिंग वी वॉल गॉन दे तो पहले मैं और निकिता गए थे उधर शादी का पूरा डेकोर फेकोर वो सब चल रहा है तो हम लोग वो सुपरवाइज करने गए कुशल था उधर अपने वाइफ के साथ सब चिल कर रहे हैं एंड नेक्स्ट डे एवरीबडी सार्ट कमिंग इन आई डोंट नो व्हाट द फक हैपन टू मी आई सॉ माय पेरेंट्स हाउ पेरेंट्स जस्ट पुल अप इन द इन द ड्राइव वे ऑफ द होटल और मैं हम लोग बालकनी से नीचे देख रहे हैं और एकदम उन लोग यू नो जस्ट टू सी देयर फेसेस व्हेन दे गॉट आउट बिकॉज़ दे वर सुपर एक्साइटेड ढोल बज रहा था उनकी शक्ल पे एक अलग ही खुशी थी वो देख के ब्रो फा मैं तो रोने लग गया सो वर यू ओवरवर्ड वर यू गिल्टी <laughs> no, I, I cried. I cried at my wedding whenever, dude. Whenever I saw uh, Hena's parents and brother cry, mm. and because they were like, "Our beti chari hai," the old Hindu idea of yeah, yeah. our paraya dhan. I yeah. felt like crying, looking at them cry. So I was like, "Arey, dude, don't, don't get so emotional." So I'm also crying. Okay, but my family is thinking that I am emotional because I am getting married. So they are looking at me and crying. They are crying. <laughs> टूगेदर So first she starts crying and like one detonation, like you could see the ripple of that blast radius. She <laughs> start was, then all yeah. the sisters one by one start crying, looking at them. Siddhi is also crying. Okay, and uh, like it was a very touching scene, but the car was also running. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so at some point, I like you know. Do you believe me? Because our guys, healthy, was running, healthy. Okay, and. एक टाइम पे रैंडमली माय डैड कॉज ही सीन हिज मदर कम इन ही सीन एवरीबडी अराउंड द फुल फैमिली इज देयर मतलब एकदम क्लोज फैमिली था ना ऑन डे जीरो एंड एवरीबडी जस्ट बीइंग अराउंड यू नो दैट लव इट्स कंटेजियस इट्स इट पूरा हर जगह एकदम फैलने लगता है यू कैन ऑलमोस्ट फिजिकली सेंस इट बीइंग अराउंड माय डैड हु आई हैव वेरी लाइक आई हैव सीन हिम क्राई लाइक थ्री टाइम्स इन माय लाइफ दैट ही डज नॉट क्राई ही इज अकेला आदमी रो रहा है उधर और ना बोले भाई तू गलत फंक्शन पे रो रहा है हल्दी पे कौन हल्दी पे एंड द वीडियोग्राफर इज मैनेज टू कैच दैट एग्जैक्ट मोमेंट ब्रो आई विल नेवर फॉरगेट दैट इमेज बिकॉज दैट दैट कम्स फ्रॉम लाइक यू नो वेन इट रियली टग्स एट योर हार्ट वो वाला जो रोना होता है ना कि तू कितना भी पत्थर ऐसे दिखाएगा एक्सटीरियर यू जस्ट कैनॉट कंट्रोल इट और करके बाप रो रहा है एक हाईलाइट हाईलाइट मोमेंट है वो हम लोग के शादी के वीडियो का सीधा मिलन रोते हुए यू नो व्हिच शिट इज सो एम्बेरसिंग ब्रो इट्स लाइक इवन इवन इन माय फकिंग वेडिंग मूवी द द द फक दिस दीस गाइस जिस ऑन दैट व्हेन दे आर एडिटिंग इट दे जस्ट लाइक दिखाओ इसको हर एंगल से एंड आई एम जस्ट लाइक खटा यार हैव यू गाइस वाचड रीवाचड योर फुटेज एंड स्टफ लाइक आई एम क्राइड ईच टाइम हाउ मेनी टाइम्स हैव यू वाचड इट लाइक फाइव टाइम्स वाओ अलग अलग लोगों को दिखाया ना एक हम लोग के पेरेंट्स के साथ देखा एक मैंने और निकिता ने खुद जस्ट हम लोग दोनों को बैठ के देखना था एक दूसरे फ्रेंड्स के साथ देखा जितने बार भी देखा है ब्रो रोया हो मतलब ऐसा आता ही है बार या आई मीन आई थिंक आई हैव लुक्ड एट द पिक्चर्स अ फेयर बंच ऑफ टाइम्स लाइक आई थिंक स्पेशली यू नो व्हेन यू वांट टू पोस्ट ऑन इंस्टाग्राम फॉर सिडीज बर्थडे और समथिंग लाइक दैट वेडिंग एनिवर्सरी बट बट लाइक आई आई डोंट लाइक रीविजिटिंग लाइक व्हाट ब्रोनक वाज सेइंग ना कि जस्ट इट डजंट like everything because i feel like the moment is so emotionally raw and vulnerable right like you don't want to revisit it a lot like bro main main dekh nahi pata hu bro mere mere ko mere shaadi ke din pe mere ko mere shaadi ke din pe mere baap ke sath lafda hua tha so every time i watch it i think of that fucking lafda okay yeah. so that i'm just like i'm just like i don't know what this fucking thing and my wife is like do you realize that outside of the lafda it was also a wedding and i was like yeah 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 yeah, yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> you know, by the way, which which uh, wedding video I would love to see. Okay, it is this. So basically, in there is a place called the Marquesas Islands. Okay, and they have a tradition. Jidhar after the wedding, the friends and the family of the bride and groom they lay face down in the grass. Ah, uh, <laughs> and the bride uh, and groom have to walk over them. Nice walk over the guests. <laughs> nice. I mean, this ah. is finally, yeah, finally something where the bride and groom win, bro. This if is if there is one way to recover per plate cost, it is <laughs> this. तू मेरा चटाई बनेगा और फिर उसके बाद जाके तू खाना खा सकते हैं फ्री में और रह भी सकते हैं but पहले तेरे पे चलने दे मुझे okay so I pulled up some millennial versus Gen Z dating statistics by the way explain तो मैं तुम फॉरगेटिंग हम लोग millennial है ना क्या है millennial है ना बाबा तूने हम लोग तू भी millennial है है ना Ninety uh, five is when it stops being millennial, and I'm ninety four. So I'm. Hey, just yeah. made it. So I got some millennial and Gen Z statistics. Okay, so either one here that the most common reason for ghosting is to avoid confrontation. Fifty percent women yeah. says to confrontation if they've ghosted right. men thirty eight percent. Have you ever been ghosted, or have you ghosted anybody else? Yeah, I don't know if I told this story, but the stupidest thing I've seen a person do. uh was basically this okay so this friend of mine uh in school had this school girlfriend okay at some point because he was 15 and stupid he was like i'm done with this relationship right so he just stopped picking up her calls because at 15 again you don't have the maturity or the this Lovely. thing to confront and you know process or like uh, articulate your emotions so uh-huh. he just stopped picking up her calls right now the fucking stupid part is <coughs> वो उसके क्लास में है वो उसके पीछे बैठती है <laughs> तो कैसे ऐसा चल रहा है पूरा टाइम अरे प्रतीक उधर क्यों देख रहा है नहीं नहीं बस ऐसे ही लाइक शी कैन लिटरली इज वॉकिंग <laughs> so dumb, but like yeah, then uh, eventually she's like, oh, you're behaving weirdly, and I guess that's it, and um. He just had to. So, समझ गया ही ना फिर समझ गया तो पाकिस्तान का वो गया या इसी पार्ट bro but but, no, uh, अरे but in this also she had to be the the more mature more sensible exactly I exactly it's the it's just bro when I was when I was fifteen my friend asked me to asked me to tell his girlfriend that hmm. bro it's I'm over. done with her same same Achha. just same same he was like I I I I can't talk to her bro and I was like bro it's a decent thing you have to tell her. वो रुक रही है तेरे लिए ब्लाला ही मतलब तो बेचू तू बता रहे तो आई जस्ट थॉट आई शुड बी अ गुड किड एंड आई कॉल हर एंड आई वाज लाइक ही डजंट वांट ही डजंट वांट टू बी विद यू आई आई डोंट नो आई जस्ट आई एम जस्ट द मैसेंजर सो देन शी वाज लाइक व्हाई एंड वी वर 15th स्टैंडर्ड ना तो आई वाज लाइक आई थिंक बेसिकली पढ़ाई वढ़ाई का सीन है ब्लाला ब्लाला एंड शी वाज लाइक हार्ट ब्रोकन तो मैं उसको मतलब समझा रहा हूं ब्लाला एंड देन वी गेट ऑफ द कॉल ओके एंड दिस फक्कर स्टार्ट्स डेटिंग लाइक हिज हर बेस्ट फ्रेंड आफ्टर लाइक अ मंथ In the same year, so then she was like, she was like, "Abhi pada hi nahi karna hai kya?" So then she calls me and asks me for like feedback on this, and I have no clue. So now I got myself into this for like the rest of her grieving period. Yeah, I don't think I've yeah. I've ever ghosted anybody, bro. Because you know, I think it's also with age as you grow, you get a little bit more mature. You realize that I think that's probably one of the dickiest moves you can do. Whether you're the uh, girl, guy doesn't make a difference. Ghosting or ghosty. गोस्टर गोस्टी एक मतलब आई नो इट्स टफ कॉन्फ्रेंटेशन किसको चाहिए नहीं कौन बैठ के बात करेगा ये करेगा वो करेगा सो यू डू द डिसेंट थिंग ऑफ टेलिंग द पर्सन दैट हे सॉरी नॉट वर्किंग आउट फॉर मी और ठीक है सो आई ऑलवेज बिलीव कि एक बोल देना चाहिए ठीक है कितना एक बार किसी को मैं बोल रहा था तो उसने तो उल्टा मेरा वायवा ले लिया ब्रो मेरे को सिर्फ बोलना था कि देख भाई सॉरी नॉट वर्किंग आउट खत्म और उस बात से अपन नहीं मिलेंगे क्योंकि दोस्त नहीं बनने वाले हैं अपन सो लेट्स लेट्स एंड इट तो ये होता ना कि तू बट व्हाई बोल रहा है कि नहीं है बट व्हाई बट दिस दिन यू यू ट्राई एंड गिव द जस्टिफिकेशन नो यू नो बिकॉज दिस देन दे हैव अ काउंटर पॉइंट देन यू लाइक अरे बट मेरा इवेंचुअल तो चेंज लिटरली had that one hour conversation where i'm trying to tell explain to this person nahi ho raha lekin usne mere ko char googly sawal puche जिसका जवाब मेरे पास नहीं है करेक्ट। एंड एंड द वर्स्ट थिंग टू। 
the worst thing galat kya hai the worst thing to do in this situation is your basically like what happens is when you're ghosting or when you're trying to break up with someone like it, the reasons are clear in your head right and yeah you're approaching a very emotional conversation logically with logic yeah right? yeah that oh, you know this is why and here is my five mark answer and she, like that's not what anyone wants to hear right regardless like of who yeah like, but yeah that's what i'm saying taco told you think i that wasn't feeling it usne divorce kiya uske sath yeah, yeah. this it. this butwai wala person taco <laughs> don't you feel like it would have been better if you just ghosted her No, then midway through you're like, "Arey, yar, abhi matlab you." No, because I've also been that butt vibe person, so I understand why uh, that person was butt vibe. But I ended up doing it before, before I experienced uh, being the butt vibe person myself. Right, right, right. So right. depends on how much you are invested in it, right? But how did you get? How did you get out of it? How did you get out of it? Nay, fir, I said, "Listen, I, abhi, I have, bus, abhi, fin, ho gaya, me." <laughs> I I would have I would have been like uh, yeah yeah I I I just like just give me five minutes and I would have disappeared or something. नहीं फिर मेरे को ghost करना पड़ा फिर literally कि अभी respond नहीं नहीं ये क्योंकि मैंने नहीं कोशिश की फिर वाई वाई आ गया and then many years down the line I was that person where I was to the girl and the girl is like listen not interested or फिर maybe but why why don't you but how about this okay you know if this is a problem maybe we can do that and she's like I don't want solution I want to finish. Bro, but, like one, but you know, you, like, like like a telemarketer, na? When you get broken up with, like a telemarketer, you're like, no, 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 I I'm willing to compromise. I'm willing to. आप बताओ सर, आप बताओ. लेकिन मैं मैं कहा आकाश के यहाँ. So it's always now, please, please. It's like when when you are on the other side, you realize what that one person you did that to or you said that to must have felt. when they were trying to i'm not yeah. justifying it and saying it's right don't no, be it's true it's true it's true don't be but right but also don't be asshole because ek din aane wala hai bhai tere paas bhi karma is is real yeah yeah okay then uh um, no, but i i got to tell you thakur you hola. by mistake you said uh by mistake you said people ghost because of lack of concentration when you wanted <laughs> to say lack of confrontation but I have also ghosted people because my focus was not on the chat, and I've opened it and I did not respond. So that was also a fair thing to say. <laughs> <laughs> oh, by, by the way, Thakur, uh, there is a new term after ghosting. There is a new term in the market, which is zombieing. Do you know what huh? zombieing is? Zombieing. Nice. So. नहीं तो मतलब तू किसी को नहीं बोलता है. लेकिन फिर भी उसके जिंदगी में है किधर आजू बाजू पड़े. It is. हाँ, exactly. So basically. तू किसी को नहीं बोलता है वो तेरे को हिक्की देती है. It is. It is when you have ghosted somebody, the chat is dead, or then you have such a six months later suddenly hey. come back to life. You up? <laughs> ah, hey, you up? Oh, okay. oh those, those, those. You know, but that's happened, right? Many a times when you've actually been this chutia, who first talked to you, and then oh, now you're single, so you're like, okay, come on, I will message, and then you actually go into the chat or the Facebook chat or whatever you were using back then, and you see that. Last message being eight months ago, and it's so evident that why you are messaging now. Mm. You know what I mean? But as a beshara, we would still go like, "Hey, how's it going?" Just imagine that girl reading this and be like, "Abey gande insan, faltu yeah, yeah. admi." मुझे पता है तूने मुझे डेढ़ साल बाद randomly क्यों message किया है? उड़ी तो शर्म कर. Sorry. Yeah, so I saw that you went to Brisbane in May. Is it good? I want records. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a friend of mine, uh, she had gotten a message from some guy, okay, whose opening line was this: "Hey, uh, remember we had gone to accounts tuition together?" She's like, "Yes." Uh-huh. <laughs> well, that sir is now dead. Anyway, what's up? <laughs> oh wow, smooth, smooth. He just passed away. <laughs> Dude, that's amazing. Bro, imagine if that was like oh. that was like Thakur's uh, Uncle Jesse story, where when they start talking and two and a half years later they meet the accounts teacher alive. Hey, zombie! Hey, zombie! Hey, zombie, sir! You me here? Great. Okay, so forty percent of Gen Z says that they are more likely to go on a second date if the guy pays. As opposed to 
28% who said that they would actually prefer splitting which is again this age old thing so when you guys used to date were you the hey i'll do it or were you let's dutch i you know something i had phases like hmm. and i think like in the early part of uh, in the early dating phase like in that uh, 18 and all of those like just then um i didn't have money because guys don't get as much pocket money as girls do so <laughs> my girlfriend used to like pay more than i did and then hmm. when i met yeah, yeah. sidhi i was making more money at that point in time so then i would pay for most of the things so um, i had these two phases and it never it never felt weird or anything to me because i just felt like we're both having a great time who cares like that's what it felt like to me okay mm. why why bring money in the middle of this yeah. is that first date first date at least pay karega first few dates right just to to tabhi kya baap ke pocket se chori kar le koi piggy bank phod de kuch to kar dost se udhar le first couple of dates hey yeah Sure. You, sort of, you sort of such the vibe also, right? You understand how cool the person would be or not. Like there are some dates you went to, you knew that if you don't, this is not happening again. This meeting is not happening. Is not happening again. Yeah, right? I think I think there is also that. Yeah, I do remember like the first date. Yes, hundred percent. I paid for it because you also come with that baggage. Okay, you've been told or you've heard or you've seen a movie or whatever, mm. and you're like, oh, the guy has to pay on first date, so I have to. So I had saved up money and scrounged in this thing, and first date I did, and then I was like, I can't do it again. I'm sorry. <laughs> That was I peaked. Rana, तेरा कैसा था? Ah, so uh, yeah, so then when I was in college, she could she knew that like I was always broke. Ah, uh, mm. because I, I was I was like sitting next to her in college, and she was like, I was like, oh, you ordered cheese dosa. This is nice. Can I taste? And then I would just eat half of it. Uh, so, so I, I think she knew first only that I have. Also, your demonstration of a college <laughs> cheese dosa is spectacular because you have to tear it. Yeah, a college yeah. cheese dosa <laughs> is not broken delicately. Yeah, yeah, you have to tear. <laughs> yeah, it's a chapati at this point. Uh, so, so yeah, so I think when we when we did start dating, uh, uh, she already had context to a lot of shit. uh so i was like i was like yo you want you want to date me fine but i don't have money now uh then i think then later on uh, when i started getting here and there like you know that like that internship money you get and you're like hey today today, today everything's on me up to 350 okay so <laughs> whatever <laughs> you are you are you are like the zomato discount 80% off yeah <laughs> why you know why are you what is this weird burden right so uh, that splitting thing i really like i like that idea okay everyone like you just split it down the middle and it's sort but of but i think i think one thing that i used to do like if i uh, like before and i started dating if i went on any casual dates in college it was always like a it was always like i used to set it up as hey we'll just uh, we we'll just hang out At Yali Road, okay. I don't have money, so I I can understand why they never became second dates after the point. <laughs> yeah, that's okay. what I mean. In the first, yeah, I'd be like, listen, I'm not Chindi. I'm not. 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 I'm uh you know that would be like it would sort of happen where you know that you have that certain sort of connect with that person it automatically flow ho jata where it became yeah. less issue ki kon kharcha kare you are more concentrating on like just having a good time together yeah. okay now 73% of gen z say that they wouldn't match with someone want to match with someone who doesn't have the same political views 
mm. as them sorry before as we jump them. into this i just want to tell you thakur what a great daska dam impression you are doing with these stats ha humne so logo se pucha ki 73% इंडियंस ये बोल रहे हैं इंडियंस भी नहीं ये जेनजी बोल रहे हैं से है, किस, किसने देखा क्या कुछ पता नहीं नॉन वेरिफाइड बट सेवेंटी से वोट बी विदाइक पार्टनर इफ दे डोंट सपोर्ट द बी एल एम मूवमेंट एंड सिक्सटी एट परसेंट से दैट देर पार्टनर नीड्स टू सपोर्ट the asian stop asian hate movement now this is clearly america yeah america yeah america ah, yeah america ka. yeah but hmm. uh, political views what do you guys feel i think it's a big one bro i think it's fair i can't i can't view it someone was opposing political views bro yeah. it's too much i no, think that ideological <laughs> Huh? Ah, I think sorry. ideologically, I think ideologically, the conversation is about you know there are a lot of couples, a lot of friends that I know, um, where either problems, divorces, or just separation, or like not even separation, but you know, difference in the in the couple, like you know, bridging bridging the thing has happened because they started off as you know non. spiritual non religious non whatever the the words are uh, that you would choose right uh, there were all of these non 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 things and then suddenly one of them decided that okay now it's time for me to um, i've started becoming a little more spiritual i've started becoming a little more religious i believe in yeah. uh, i believe in god or not just necessarily god but i think i believe in this uh this thing so i think those kinds of ideological differences do tend to uh, affect especially when you're sort of like you know running uh, started completely differently and now you're something else but that's a very drastic thing right because uh, amazing he believes in god now wow bro <laughs> if that doesn't make you believe in spirituality baba i don't know <laughs> what else will पीपल जस्ट के नॉट एनी मोर टॉलरेट एनी बडी फ्रॉम दी अदर साइड की फगेट लाइक यू वुड इन लाइक एज फ्रेंड्स यू डोंट वॉन्ट टू एंगेज विद दो टॉपिक्स if yeah. you know your friend is not uh, you know aligned with you so yeah. uh, partner no, to bahut hi yeah i say i say theek hai ko matlab friend it's like theek hai daru pe reha ye chucha giri kar raha hai mai according to him chucha giri kar raha hu bye see you after hmm. one hour hmm. stay in touch bhai whatever but it's like you can't be partner this is... person for yeah, yeah it's crazy yeah. bro yeah no but it's so, it's so weird how like political environment has like a direct effect on your relationship like think about the times in like late school college wo time pe kya politically kuch tha apna yeah, ki yeah, are tu tu congress tu bjp tu ye tu wo yeah. kuch nahi tha you know i'm sure i'm sure kids nowadays have it I'm nowadays sure. yeah i'm yeah, talking yeah. About in my in my uh, like 18 to 25 phase yeah farak pad raha tha to mere ko achhi lagti hai अच्छी लगे अरे क्या हॉट है अरे ये हम लोग वो थे तभी थोड़ी कॉन्वर्सेशन था कि अरे हु डू यू सपोर्ट डू लाइक कोलिशन गवर्नमेंट नहीं ये तो बात भी नहीं हो रही थी माय पॉलिटिकल ओपिनियन आर व्हाट एवर इट टेक्स टू बी विद यू व्हाट एवर या यू लाइक दिस आई आल्सो लाइक दिस बट डू देयर हैज गॉट टू बी सम समथिंग अबाउट द लाइक इमेजिन हैविंग टू अपोजिंग पॉलिटिकल व्यूज बट येट बीइंग लाइक मैडली अट्रैक्टेड टू ईच अदर that's not got to be yeah that, that's got to be some that's got to be some good carnal energy yeah uh, yeah but i there's no longevity to it yeah like i'll tell you i'll give you an example i have the fact that my dad and nikita's dad have same political leanings infinitely made the whole process a lot smoother i feel uh you know what i mean like family meetings are fun they're having their fun nikita and I, Having our fun, our moms right. are having their fun. सब लोग खुश हैं, ठीक है? तुम अपने में खुश रहो, हम अपने में खुश हैं. But I sense that अगर <clears throat> इतना ये होता है, it's not like हम लोग हम लोग के लिए they will put everything aside and be fine. But yeah. एक होता है कि it's just a get along better because of it. Yeah. 
it's a lot smoother there's less this they have each other to sit and do their thing we have each other to sit and do our thing smooth sailing no yeah, problem this is nice ki i feel like yes. everyone should be in their own echo chamber yeah <laughs> like, yeah you no know, there in the main apne mein chilla raha hai udhar chilla raha hai sab chillao chalega has this happened to you what never is saying that like uh, I, not not only politically but ideologically what you were and because you tend to grow as a person you had to be a, like you change your op- strong opinion in front of this person who's seeing you and now you look like a fucking hypocrite because uh has this happened to you guys oh yeah 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 lots in fact like the thing i keep thinking about is that when other people do it it's hypocrisy when you do it it's personal growth yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. you know <laughs> yeah i have changed as a person because you can understand your emotional graph and reasoning and logic Correct. and everything mm-hmm. but you don't give the same courtesy to others right ki un log wo bhi badal sakte hain wo bhi change kar sakte hain so yeah uh, I, like yeah i mean like i've gone through i feel like a lot of these like uh, going to the opposite pole coming back going you know and then i feel like a lot of the wisdom from life comes from being at extremes and figuring out oh the mean of these two is where it's at yeah i think that's the toughest part bro because like i feel like like i used to be like very atheist and now i do believe in a higher power like a lot okay and i just feel like when i when i express it hennas is looking at me like this fucking guy okay so <laughs> so, so like uh, uh, it's it's you look like a fucking asshole for doing it yeah but it's yeah. good night so you make that little little changes to come half way you don't have to completely totally change no no but but the thing is i want. haven't done anything half way for others like i have mm. just in my own journey for my own self felt like i found god yeah so yeah. i'm not doing it for other people you know what i'm saying mm. yeah. yeah no and and i feel like that's one of the other things about being with someone long enough to have the sort of like you you will have to deal with the full depth of the person and those mm. depths will include you know all of these changes all of these things they are, they will not be the same person that you met mm. they will have like all of these things and to embrace that part you know of of them that is the whole like i mean it's like a you know the thing that i keep thinking about is like uh, you know you stay with someone long enough and you feel like a lot of people have this thing ki isn't it boring it's the same person and i'm like but that's the thing it's not the same person Mm you're growing together. Six. Yeah. Yeah, if it was the same person yeah 100% it would be boring but you keep figuring out new stuff and it's crazy. Yeah, that's true. That's true. By the way, one one fact which totally surprised me I thought it would be the opposite but that is that Gen Z is having less casual sex than previous generation. 24% of Gen Z are having sex on a casual basis compared to 36% of millennials that's weird didn't you i thought it would be, thought it would be yeah. 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 the way around right the, i think that the definition of casual sex has changed in this context only between the millennials and and the gen z <laughs> okay. like i think it would i think the con with the the definition of casual would be eh, casual and in, in millennials right. i think it would be non serious dear sir yeah dear sir is formal sex now <laughs> yeah <laughs> informal letter and formal letter uh yeah. बट मेरे को लग रहा है कुछ तो कुछ तो वेड लग रहा है वो अजीब लग रहा है मेरे को बट इट्स इट्स आई आई लाइक इट्स मार्केट करेक्शन ब्रो हां इट्स मार्केट करेक्शन ब्रो बिकॉज़ लाइक इट्स जस्ट नाउ दे गोइंग बैक इनटू बिकॉज़ वन एक्सट्रीम से दूसरा एक्सट्रीम जा रहा है इट्स पॉसिबल ब्रो नो आई एम सेइंग लाइक हाउ हाउ यू एज ए स्पेसिफिक जनरेशन कास्ट योर ओन एस्पर्शंस ऑन द नेक्स्ट थिंकिंग हम लोग इधर बैठ के बोल रहे हैं जेन सी दे वाज बी हैविंग सेक्स ऑल द टाइम या उनके पास टिंडर है वंबल है हमारे पास तो था ही नहीं है वो जो अपने मां बाप अपने बारे में बोलते हैं कि तुम लोग क्या तुम लोग का तो ये कैजुअल डेटिंग हमारे इस पे तो हम देख के फिर शादी कर यू नो व्हाट आई मीन लाइक एवरी प्रोग्रेसिव जनरेशन विल कास्ट देयर ओन थिंग एंड आई मीन नॉट लाइक दिस वन आर्टिकल इज द एंड ऑफ इट ऑल बट still quite shocking a uh, statistic so if you're gen z and you're not okay with casual sex right let tell us below but also bro maybe matlab you're asking very young people to give a poll and because they're scared that their parents will find out they'll be like nahi nahi maine kaha sabka naam naam thodi hat ki the 1% of this 24% is ronak rajani lives in <laughs> 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 
but <laughs> it's so weird then on the other hand you're saying 47% of gen z are okay with the idea of divorcing someone as opposed to 30% of millennials who would like to stick it out for longer do you think that's another shift that has happened like you see that change happen even from our parents generation to now like apne parents ke generation ke time pe you heard stories within your family friends parents whatever where you know that it's not working out in the sense that they you you can clearly see they're not happy but at that point of time because of you know like lack of uh, uh women being able to work them having lesser financial security being more dependent because they didn't get a chance to work they had to keep the house the courage to want to step out of an unhappy marriage was far lesser yeah. you know or if you speak to any of them even if that was in the case the other side was that they would try that much harder ki nahi theek ho jayega hum karenge as opposed to that the the younger kids nowadays are more like theek hai nahi work ho raha fuck it we'll go where do you guys stand stand on that yeah like no, I, i think i i i looked at my parents marriage and i was like it's it would have been better if they had the guts to end it oh. <laughs> what i'm saying so yeah. so in my in my head i i always have like the idea of okay yeah divorce is not crazy because otherwise you're punishing yourselves by being together correct, uh, correct. but like but like some people like hena comes from a very like her parents have a very healthy marriage so even if they fight it's like just a fight that gets over like it like in my house my parents fought it was not over राइट they weren't divorced but they separated because the word divorce was heavily uh, uh tabooed and so they never really got the divorce but they've lived separate ever since i was 8 uh, uh mm. you know in that sense uh but yeah so i mean did, did people refer to them like with the with the disdain of what yeah, you know divorcee hai you know what do they call them i mean they yeah. didn't divorce they didn't no no <laughs> innocent innocent divorcee uh, <laughs> they uh No I I think a lot of the a lot of the stank my mom had to face where yeah. uh, uh, I mean in that sense right always the women get the yeah so shorter end of stick so when she moved to the she moved back home the colony was like no bro she's married outside the community then when she got her own house then she was running a, at least when we got to the when we got to the house that we that mom bought and lived there it was okay because then it was a like it it was a society it was this that and the other and it was always ki you know her husband is there somewhere like it was mm-hmm. one of those like uh, things so it wasn't uh, uh it wasn't necessarily taboo or whatever but there was so much weight on the word divorce uh, mm-hmm. yeah. i think i don't think that 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 sort of Dude, how much how much of your how much of your parents relationship affected <laughs> like your own sense of relationships right lot, like yeah. you know like lot, the yeah. and the bad you know what <clears throat> like you see bad stuff happen sometimes it's very easy to be like no aise hi hota hai because you've seen that happen and there are times when you see the bad happen and you figure okay you know what as a third person i've seen the both sides of the story certain things i've seen happen i will not repeat my you know and there are certain things that you've seen happen when you were younger where you would be like agar aise kyun behave kar rahe aur abhi agar tere sath ho raha hai you're like ah ah now i get it now so it's not as as black and white as it could be but like yeah uh, in fact i was just going to say that like and as i was thinking about it i felt like mai ye kitna uncle point hai uh, but ye uncle point rakhna chahiye i feel ha bilkul ye uncle point ye hai ki uh you know on one end there is 100% it is that is true that a lot of people you know are persevering through very unhappy relationships because they don't see any other option or they feel like their life will be worse so they don't have like you know the 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 courage that is required to like face society when it happens but then on the other hand there is also those relationships which where people give up too soon 
yeah you know where like the at the first you're not danger, feeling it <laughs> yeah at the, yeah no, at the first kidding. first side of danger you have bolted you have just been like man nahi karunga and you have just left yeah right and mm-hmm. i feel like bo- any extreme of that is not fun this i'm saying is uncle because like you just feel like and these young people know they are, don't have the perseverance so to would you have said that to that uh, girl who got divorced because uh, her husband called her stupid yeah that's an interesting one um <laughs> If he had said a funnier thing, I would have said stick, stick on. But I think it was just so blunt and cruel. Uh, that it's yeah, it was cruel. Yeah, it felt yeah. like yeah, a bandhu bhi ye karne wala. It was yeah. cruel. I think yeah. it yeah. was cruel in the context of it. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So my my point is that like I feel like uh, either end of that extreme is terrible. There is obviously like the correct this thing is keep wait like figure it out whether it's worth or not. But I don't give up on people too fast. Like I feel like that happens also a lot. I've seen it with a lot of my friends. Okay, the smallest thing supports the other football team, so I can't. Are it? Mm-hmm. <laughs> no, that's so. Yeah, that's you see that it's not true. running away at the side of the first problem, but working it out, working it out with your partner yeah. to weather that storm. That's like hallmark of true relationship. Yeah, also, give it yeah. like a few fights. You know, I feel. Yeah. Like. <laughs> It's like, dude, just okay, fine. She cheated on you, man. Big deal. Yeah. What's <laughs> <laughs> that? I think that the right answer to this, or the right articulation to this, is that if the person makes you feel comfortable being you, hmm. uh, and if the person accepts the person who you are, and vice versa, uh, hmm. I, 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 I think that that's the person you want to stay with because. they'll never res- disrespect you they'll never humiliate you even in a fight you're respectful right uh, yeah. i think that that takes some learning uh, it takes a lot of learning maturity. to understand uh, yeah maturity but also you know sometimes it's just understanding that this sentence or this way of talking or this mm-hmm. behavior mm-hmm. tends mm-hmm. to mm-hmm. affect the other person adversely it may mm-hmm. not i and triggers the wrong word here but it may affect them adversely because of whatever bias or experience yeah. or generational trauma or whatever it is that they have what ends up happening is that just the way you may phrase something like some people may get irritated with the word uh, don't be so stupid yeah right like in this case like uh, i mean how dumb is that that might upset someone and it's not because the word dumb is so benign it's benign to you and i in the context of what we're doing but mm. uh it could mean a lot so i think the 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 love or the respect that you have for yourself first of all though you have to have it for yourself for to be in a sort of uh happy place to be able to make anyone else happy and i think the reception and the giving just it being equitable in almost um some form will allow for a fruitful sort of space yeah, yeah. you know as as cliche as it sounds <clears throat> i also feel like if you and your partner make each other laugh i'm not saying it from the point of view of are comedian hai set up punch line mara no it is just that it's it's an it's another good way. times huh good good times good times na main hasa raha matlab is joke pe keh rahe chal mera set so waisa nahi like just yeah, yeah. in the most mundane and the most stupid action the the funny way of saying something whatever i think that constant laughter also is a good key in in a relationship as as cliched as it sounds because to pehle puchta tha na what would you like in your partner oh he has to like you know when girls get as oh he should have a sense of humor guys get as oh sense of humor but i think it goes beyond that it's just making the person so comfortable that you can laugh on the stupidest shit together something that is just uniquely without the, being judged without being judged just you know to be in a space where you can truly utmostly be your absolute stupid self so and, to speak and yeah, yeah the thing is wow hilarious, <laughs> hilarious. so you are saying so you are saying that if hena did not find that bhav paji joke funny i should i should take things seriously and consider what's happening here no no <laughs> <laughs> I <laughs> uh, I would get in touch with a good lawyer at this point. Yeah, I would. <laughs> Bahau Paji, I mean. <laughs> oh, you should you should go get more food puns and send them one every day. 
till sending food puns becomes your thing and then one day she is going to send a food pun to you and... or a notice yes. so yeah or a notice so <laughs> my, my plan is i i've saved it on onto my like i saved it and i put it onto my favorites and i'll after 6 months again revisit and see if like she's vibing with it or no why would you do this Dude, i would love you know something just want to see you should take fresh this. eyes you should take this to a couples counselor just to get their reaction and this specific <laughs> problem yeah. is what you should take maybe like so you know one. what brings you here you know like is, is there anything i can help you with yes you can see this meme <laughs> <laughs> she's not getting <laughs> mm. say it uh anything else or should we rafis rafis yeah. i should rafis rafis lekin jaane ke pehle ronak uh anything interesting that you've been seeing watching reading on the internet jaane ke pehle thoda public ko recommendations de de agar kuch mazedaar chal raha hai to it could no, be a meme it could main... be a movie it could be a song kuch bhi kya chal raha hai internet pe tere internet pe kya chal raha hai aajkal सॉन्ग तो ब्रो वो हनुमान का का नया वीडियो देखा तुम लोग ने हाँ ब्रो इन सेन इट्स गॉन नट्स एवरीवेयर फैल गया पागल जैसे ब्रो आई जस्ट वांट टू आस्क यू समथिंग आई जस्ट वांट टू आस्क यू इंडियन मैन मेड ऑफ फकिंग बैंगर सॉन्ग एवरीवन इज लिसनिंग टू इट why a canadian team is making a reel showing their medals with it and indian team was not made one one reel about like this song i'm not understanding bro this is uh, i just want canadian like team is making a video with hanuman kind ka gana do the canadian team is doing this wait a minute with the fucking medals and their this thing okay and like the indian team is not even looking at it dude like manu bakar is just being so selfish about her own victory <laughs> i just feel I, i i thought for a second it was a serious question and now i realize it's a bit <laughs> uh you know lakshya sen ka match bhi mast tha bro just haar gaya bichara yaar third is pe वो देखा तुम लोग ने जिसका जिसका लंड उस पर लग गया तो वो डिस्कालीफाई हो गया पर इसका लंड उसको टच किया and that's why he got disqualified because wo which which is what a great way to lose bro because you won because, <laughs> yeah you won bro uh, what a place to fucking show your dick bro did you what all, a place did you all happen to see the 100 meters men's final yesterday it got over when i put torch so aage tha so got over so now i put it on they the victory has never been more real for a jerry seinfeld bit because the the result was No, 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 no. It was because first was nine point seven nine in hundred meters. Second was nine point seven nine in hundred meters. Exactly. Ha, correct. The third was nine point eight one, and the second was nine point seven nine eight or four or something like that, and the other one was seven eight something by one four thousandth <laughs> of a second. The person has won. So, uh, Lyles. uh it's unreal like it's just unreal because his chest was in front right no he also he came in later but he also put his thing but that's how they all end right like yeah. they all reach forward Dude, by, to... by the way this this olympics for some reason um i mean obviously because of the indians winning the medals but also everything else that has happened in shooting that that sport has got one full highlight moment Like bro, you... that Turkish, that Turkish uncle. Everybody's come with their fancy glasses. This Turkish uncle just standing. And this bro looks like Atul Khatri. If you yeah, yeah. Carefully, bro. Like a. उस आदमी का मीम्स बहुत टीकेस बन रहा है लेकिन बहुत फनी है उसमें एक तो इट्स विद अ कैट इज लाइक ओके इफ दिस कैट डाइज वी आर गोइंग टू गेट फोर मूवी स्टारिंग दिस गाय या सो वन वन One meme I saw, which was which was a damn like valid point, which was that he purposely came silver because if he he came gold, he would have come to know he's an assassin. <laughs> yeah, there was one someone just wrote, uh, "Bro, here raw dogging the Olympics." <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> 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 
संडे को जो बिल्डिंग में नीचे खेलते है ना ऐसे स्पोर्ट्स डे के अंकल जो इंडिपेंडेंस डे पे वैसे The the best one I I saw saw it was was the 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 meme I saw was the, the regular shooters with all their paraphernalia, right? And it says, uh, it says how girls prepare for exam. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. no, okay, okay, that is best. That is best. There was one. There was one which said startups with. सॉल्विंग दर प्रॉब्लम <laughs> oh, बहुत फनी था बहुत फनी बट या वाइल्ड वाइल्ड ओलंपिक्स दिस वन वेरी वेरी या देयर वाज डिड यू सी द कोरियन गर्ल um who won again shooting me but what a badass uh just everything about her so yeah, she yeah. she has one in shooting okay and uh, you need she to look, see the video she looked there no or something like that bro oh, she with, has she has like... shot she's taken a shot then she has Uh, as soon as she's finished taking the shot, she's looked straight into the camera. Okay, she's looked into the camera, yes. flipped her this thing up, looked in, you know, uh, you know, like un undid her pistol and everything. Looked back at the camera. Just the vibe of this person, wow. but like I, a Kill I, I Bill was... character, dude. And then after that, the sound is like Jumme Jo Pathan. Amazing, but, uh, but I'll tell you something. This I noticed that dude. Uh, बचा लिया है Bro, insane. Yeah. और आज आज ऑफ शूटिंग राइट नाउ कल दोपहर को भाई आ रहे नीरज भाई आ रहे हैं बट आई एम अमेज बाय द वे कि मनु भाकर आउटस्टैंडिंग सरब जो लाइक ऑल ऑफ दिस लाइक इट्स जस्ट इट्स सो गुड टू लाइक बी एन एक्टिव पार्टिसिपेंट एट द ओलंपिक्स यू नो नॉट जस्ट कि Otherwise, you open the newspaper and it's just other countries and how much they have won and a or medal, a or tally, yeah. or like it's it's so exciting. Ki apan sab me like abhi competent hai. It's so yeah. even uh, even uh, Laksh 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 hai or Laksh Laksh na? Laksh Ken badminton. Ha. So Laksh jo usne jo match hara the guy who he lost against was world number one. Number two. Yeah. Dad, number number two. two? Yeah, seat number okay. two. The Malaysian guy, na Z. No, no, no Danish no. guy. He lost to a Danish Yesterday's, guy. Yesterday, yeah, the Danish. No, yeah, Axelson. Oh, Axelson. Ah. Ah. Me, abhi ki baat kar raha hu. Shamko jo hua. So, usne usne bola tha ki like uh, this is the toughest match I've played, and uh, next Olympics this guy is gonna be like. Boy, four years old. Hai gold to hai, boy ko gold. No, no, and also he he. I mean, the fact that he was leading and then opened up a gap and then. Axelson obviously being world number two, having just that ability, that skill set, something else only. But acha tha bro, Axelson versus Lakshasen, good. Yeah. Yes, who is Danish amongst these two? <laughs> <laughs> The referee. <laughs> <laughs> चलो ऑन दैट नोट दैट द एंड ऑफ दिस एपिसोड ऑफ द इंटरनेट सेट सो वी वर डिस्कसिंग रिलेशनशिप सरप्राइज सरप्राइज विद रौनक रजानी रौनक इज देयर एनीथिंग यू लाइक टू प्रमोट इज देयर एनीथिंग यू लाइक टू प्रमोट या मैंने एक मैंने एक स्पेशल रिकॉर्ड किया था मई में और व्हिच आई हैव पुट द फर्स्ट पार्ट ऑन माय YouTube चैनल विद द क्रिएटिव डायरेक्टर नेवल शाह हु इज राइट हियर वेयर आई एम पॉइंटिंग सो गो फॉलो गो फॉलो नेवल शाह Yeah, he's uh, he's a pretty good. No, guy. no, no, don't don't. Okay. Enjoy <laughs> Ronak special. Yeah, yeah, so we'll put the link below. Uh, guys, go check out his special. Your show, what's going on? I'm writing new. Ah, okay. What's going on? What's going on? We'll tell you. Guys, our show is going on. 
याद रखो बैंगलोर चेन्नई दिस वीकेंड चेन्नई ऑन द टेंथ बैंगलोर ऑन द इलेवेंथ मुंबई ऑन द ट्वेंटी फोर्थ एम्स्टरडैम ऑन द ट्वेंटी एट ऑफ सेप्टेंबर बर्लिन ऑन ट्वेंटी नाइन्थ एंड फिफ्थ अक्टूबर इज लंडन ऑल टिकट आर गोइंग सुपर फास्ट लिंक नीचे है प्लीज ले लो मेंबरशिप मेंिंग लिस्ट एंड मर्च ऑल्सो अवेलेबल बिलो एंड या करो थोड़ा लाइक शेयर कॉमेंट सब्सक्राइब वब्सक्राइब करो थोड़ा एंगेजमेंट बढ़ाओ और अगले हफ्ते मेंबरशिप का क्या बोला तू कुछ नया है ना ये मेंबरशिप हाँ मेंबरशिप बोला ना नीचे है एक हाँ गाइस एक तो रेगुलर मेंबरशिप और दूसरा है टिस्क खास पब्लिक तो अगर आप लोग ने टिस्क खास पब्लिक लिया तो आपको महीने का एक और बोनस भंकस स्ट्रीम मिलेगा जहां पर आप लोग हमारे साथ आके बात कर सकते हो हम भंकस करेंगे आप कैमरा अपना ऑन करके आ भी सकते हो यू नेवर नो एनी इज पॉसिबल अगर तुम वो <laughs> 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 उसके लिए मेंबरशिप देखो डायरेक्ट कैश में देना पड़ता है बाबा को नो नो पेपर ट्रेल अलाउड ओके ऑन दैट नो दैट्स द एंड ऑफ दिस एपिसोड विल सी यू अगेन नेक्स्ट वीक अंटिल देन इट्स गुड बाय टेक केयर टाटा सलाम इश्क See you, Ronak bro. Thank you. Yes. Yo, thank you so much, me, bro. Or कुछ और कुछ बोलने हैं देखो अभी last two minute में. हाँ बस वो जो मैंने बोला मत आओ मेरे shows पे वो cancel कर देना because actually <laughs> I realized after saying it that my self doubt is showing. नहीं तो आओ ना तेरे show के लिए आए ना. हाँ मतलब वो मतलब मैं अभी trial shows ही कर रहा हूँ but मतलब don't say मत आओ is all I'm saying. No no guys please जाओ.